Hello everyone, I am a GN. Step 4, let's make the cabin volume. It will be a continuation from step 3. Please view the template. Before make a cabin, let's review the fine tuning of the body. Select the insert point, and, to create the edge of the side view of the headlamp. Delete unwanted faces. Delete this edge as well. Switch to front view. As you can see, a gap between the template and the edge. One way to fix this is to move the set pivot to the edge edge and scale it. But this time we'll try a different approach. That's the technique I used for wheel opening that snaps to the curve. Create a guideline like this at the insert point. Hide the template for easy viewing. Select fit point spline from create sketch. And snap to the tip, middle and back points like this. Select the pull command, select the vertex you want to change this way, and select the spline curve to snap to. At this time, there are two points. First is pull one side in the box display. Second is to make the pull type option a control point. Adjust fender edges and template gaps. Select the edge to adjust and snap the pivot to the back edge. Then adjust the scale in the vertical direction. After that, adjust it manually. Adjust the misaligned points according to the template.
push out the side window. Select these edges. Right click to select edit form. Press alt and extrude inside. Create an etch like this at the insertion point. Again, make the edge of the A pillar at the insertion point. Next, create an etch like this at the insertion point. Delete edges you don't need. Creates missing edges. Select a corner point. Switch to the side view and move the point to the top of the pillar. Select a control curve spline to snap to the top of the pillar and the back edge of the edge. Right click to select insert spline control point. Add three control points like this. Select this fast icon and delete. Select a control point and move it. Displays templates, and then trace the character. Change to the top view and trace the character.
select a pull command from the toolbar. The pull command will not work if there are still points from the edges removed in this way. Select pull again, select points to move, select target edges. If the pull type is a surface point, it may explode like this. If you change it to a control point, you can snap it correctly. Also, if you pull it close to the target edge like this, the edge will remain regular. Select Symmetry, Mirror Duplicate from the toolbar. Select an object and select a plane to mirror. Object has been mirrored. Select Bridge from the toolbar. Double click an edge to select. Select Side 2 and double click the opposite edge. Change the face to 2. Select OK, roof faces are bridged. Create a front window. Select bridge from the toolbar and select edges on both sides. Check the smooth display with Alt 3. Zero X points are joined, so they are not displayed smoothly. In this case, select the repair body of the utility from the toolbar. And if you select auto repair in the options menu, the problem will be fixed automatically. Next, let's fix the edge bias. Select make uniform from the toolbar, and, pick object and OK. Next, adjust the roof cross section. Select the center edge. Right click and select insert edge. Insert an edge around here. Insert one more edge. Select center edge to change to side view. Right click and select edit form to move selected edge up. Select an edge and snap the pivot to the back edge to scale the roof edge. Select this edge to snap the pivot to the front edge. Adjust like this on a horizontal scale. Adjust like this on a horizontal scale. The front window also fits the template. Once you have aligned the top view of the front window, select the roof edge and adjust it like this. If you adjust it according to the template, the cabin volume is complete.
If you adjust it according to the template, the cabin volume is complete. Evaluate surface quality with Zebra. Thank you for watching the video. Let's make a hood and headlamp next time. See you soon.